Make some noise for Alex Polakoff. Let him hear it. Hey everyone, how are we doing tonight? Yeah. Who's ready to laugh? That's the question. <laughs> the last guy was funny, the other person will probably be funny too. So for the next five minutes, we're going to just have to deal with this. <laughs> so, uh, also, just a little awkward, I want to get out of the way. I turned down taking a large quantity of acid tonight so I could come up here and stand in front of you. So, thank you. I know, I wanted to do it and like come up anyway, but then I would just be talking like this. Like, like hey, hey, like just hitting on the wall, specifically the word that says club. Uh, but what you guys are going to have to do to make it up for me is I'm going to need one of you to morph into a giant squirrel at some point during my set, and then, and then we're going to be okay. Um, so, moving on from my... LSD edition. Uh, who here is going clubbing tonight after the show? One guy, maybe. I know it's not a good transition from clubbing, from no, not from comedy club to like going out to a, a real club, I guess. Um, but not, not like, oh, my friend in Chelsea just got a disco ball. Let's go over there and take some Jello shots clubbing. I'm talking, I'm talking like I think that guy just put something in my drink clubbing. Um, but what, what bothers me about it is I don't understand how everyone can stay awake until four in the morning. I've lived in New York for a while. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I can sleep all day, drink enough coffee until I'm shaking like a diabetic having an insulin shot. <laughs> I could, I've taken Adderall before, to stay up before. Uh, and, oh, what's that? No, don't take Adderall. That guy, by the way, that guy's selling Adderall. For <laughs> Get that. You'll take that, and you'll just want to talk politics all night. Is that is true. They, 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 you were doing nothing but helping me realize that you sell nothing but Adderall. <laughs> Doesn't sell. It just gives it out for free. So. But case in point, last night, went, got dressed up with my roommate, and by that I mean I put a shirt on that had buttons on it, went out, went out in Williamsburg, and about 1.30 a.m. I fell asleep in a pizza place. She's nodding, she knows, I'm not making that up. I was like, I have a comedy show tomorrow, I've got to fall asleep somewhere embarrassing. <laughs> hey, Mom and Dad. <laughs> According to Sheba, you're way more important than you've ever let on before. <laughs> If I had known that, I would have talked back to you more. So, <laughs> so <laughs> man, I wasn't expecting to talk to my parents for so long. But uh, honestly, if you want to take advantage of me at night, you don't have to like roof me or slip something in my drink. You just have to keep me out until 3.40 in the morning and I'm um, all of yours. <laughs> hey Alex, do you want to go home? Yeah, whatever the fuck you just said. I'm like, I'm at I will walk anywhere, preferably slumped over your shoulder. <laughs> Unless I'm on Adderall, then I'm going to be asleep with my eyes open. <laughs> that still doesn't work. You got, you've got the pills to keep your eyes open while you're sleeping. <laughs> I don't think that's a drug that you'd want to buy recreation. Actually, I think it's more closed but awake. The opposite. That's an emotion that my body will never experience. <laughs> I will find you after the show. <laughs> that's too many things happening at once. And, um... I think I'm still talking about clubs, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not like clubs are low energy. It's not like anyone's walked into a nightclub before and be like, oh man, there's not enough stuff happening in here right now. It's like, not even enough. Let's say like, the lights are flashing on so you can see everything, then you can't see anything. The bass is pumping so it's changing the rhythm of your heartbeat. Um, everybody's sweating, everyone. People outside the club are sweating. I'm sweating just thinking about it. Um, there's always some person trying to touch your crotch, and at first you're like, ah, like don't do that. That's kind of weird. And then you're, and then like you're kind of into it because like they've been doing it for so long. You're like, fuck it, whatever, just go. <laughs> just go. <laughs> then my roommate's telling me, please stop touching your dick in front of me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> God, I sound really lonely. <laughs> They're selling alcohol. They can, you can buy hard liquor by the bottle there, which is astonishing to me because the one time me and my friends drank a bottle of whiskey in all in one sitting, we ended up just going out in the middle of the street and pepper spraying each other. <laughs> we're like, fuck it, after this, we're going to put it on our food and just call it that. Um, no, that part didn't happen. <laughs> we were inside, we didn't go on the street. Um, but I think what bothers me about clubs is not the, the club itself, it's the people who go there. I know she asked this before, but there's single people in here, right? Preferably single one. <laughs> two. Two people who are alone, two single ladies. I would 
like to apologize to you ladies on behalf of all men because I have seen the crap that you have to put up with night in and night out. I had a friend at a party once go to a girl, quote, I can bet you times five. <laughs> Which is either a really good compliment or a horrifying insult. I followed very closely, I don't know why they got bunched up together, followed very closely by another friend grabbing a drink from a girl. And then when she wanted it back, then when she wanted it back, giving it back to her and going, oh, I'm just fucking with you because I'm trying to fuck you. <laughs> And then he looks at me, he's like, I'm just fucking with you because I'm trying to fuck you. Like, he looks at me like, I'm supposed to be in on it. And then she looks at me, he smiles like I knew he was going to say it. I'm like, yeah, I guess he's trying to fuck you. That's, that's a battle you're going to have to fight all night because I'm walking away. It's like 1 o'clock, I gotta get home and sleep face down with salsa all over my face. And, but like... <laughs> That, would be, that was real. That was that was a good one. What's funny, actually, they're dating now, so it's a really funny like intro. So, sorry, no, she walked away immediately. <laughs> immediately, and uh, it sucks because like you can't fight fire with fire. Like girls, you can't say like a creepy sexual thing to a guy and hope they'll get back. I guess the only thing you like you can start referring to your vagina as a puss, which is <laughs> funnier and odder than it would be like kind of a turnoff. But like, you know, it's, you would imagine like you have, you're at a bar. Three girls come up to you before you even sit down. They're like, hey, stud, you look like you bend steel. Is there anything else you can bend? No. Oh. And then they perv, and they bend, they put their better at it. And then your night would be over in five minutes. You're like, fuck it, I'm going home. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, but like, actually, it doesn't even need to be that clever. A girl could just be like, yeah, hey there, sexy muffin. I know a puss that needs a good stuff in. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, that rhymed. I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, before I go, I just want to know. I just wanted to, uh, to check if this was something heroic that I did recently, because I'm always trying to be a hero. I was in the car. <laughs> That's my life goal. Stay awake past midnight and be a hero. They're really all over the place. I was in the park, and me and my friend saw this guy taking pictures of a bunch of, ki bunch of kids on the playground. And this guy was wearing tight jeans. He had a, a non-hoodie sweatshirt on that said, Smiling burns calories on it. It was weird. <laughs> had a creepy, creepy mustache, just like not, not good vibe. So I walked up to him. <laughs> Someone really likes the show. <laughs> I wasn't even a joke, just a creepy guy with you. Um, he's like, okay, sure, <laughs> that thing. Um, so I walked up to him and I was like, hey, guy, what are you doing? I'm like, what the hell, man? He's like, what? It's like these aren't even the attractive children. <laughs> <laughs> I just sent them over to Penn State because I know it's all better. Oh. 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 I did it. Take a look at Lingling. Oh man, now I'm just rambling. I'm out. Thank you guys so much.